What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mystic White House. And today, we are playing Bisexual Bachelorette. Hey, Bisexual uh, Bachelorette. On uh, episode, choose your story. A spa day is just what you need to relax. Things start off great, but relationships will be tested by your saboteur's next trick. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen in this episode. But remember, y'all, to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. Yes, let's get into it. Would you like to read the author's note? Of course. All right, I'll show you what it says. Keep in mind that when a character gets on one-on-one, -on -one, like they did last chapter, they do not get to go on the following group date. Okay, gotcha. We know that already. Remember those affection points we told you about in the early chapters? They're going to matter in this episode. Oh, joy. You yeah. are. Characters will respond to you differently based on those points, which you've been collecting through various choices. Interesting. Other decisions that you made in previous episodes will also impact this story. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Oh, and Tris is definitely not into you. She doesn't have a not-so-secret crush that she keeps denying. Wink, wink. <laughs> we know. Oh, not fair. <laughs> On with the show. We know Tris liking us. We know she got a crush the next morning. She know. Okay, you wake up in your hotel room looking bomb and cute. <laughs> Good morning, Taylor. So how did your night go? Well, girl, well, you know those threatening notes I told you about? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Guess what? Are they still showing up even here in Canada? You are. No, but when I was leaving Bay's hotel room, I saw someone with a small camera rushing away. And what was they doing? Like, and you think there's a connection? There might be. I mean, sure. There might be. I'm worried there might be. Yeah, see, exactly. See, there might be. Uh, you are. We got to look into it. Let's talk about this more later and see what we can figure out. Okay. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Base hotel room, huh? Oh, are you jelly? I think she's jelly. Well, she needed help with her bags and then... <laughs> hey, Taylor, it's okay. You don't need to justify anything to me. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. So I'd prefer to be spending time with you in your hotel. Ooh. You're an extremely flirtatious person, aren't you, Taylor? You know it. It's hard not to flirt around you. Tris. Yes. Anyways, it's time to get you ready for the next group date. Oh, joy. Today, you'll get a spa day. First up, it's a nice soak in the hot tub. Ooh, yes. This is just what I needed. And I need this in real life, okay? <laughs> okay, what we wearing, y'all? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I know I'm annoying. <laughs> How y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? It is Tuesday now. I have a short week at work and I'm so excited because we don't get to work on Friday. Hey, hey, no work on Friday and next Friday. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I was joyful, okay, when I heard that. No work for two Fridays straight. Yo, yeah. yo, yeah. I'm extremely excited. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, ain't she cute? You meet the group at the hotel spa, ready for a day of relaxation. Relaxation. Who did? Who did? Who are you? And please tell me you're a new contestant. <laughs> We're going to say that. Who daddy? It kind of looked like Caleb. Is that Caleb? Who are you? And please say you're a new contestant. He has like a different hair. Oh, it is. I, I'm a contestant, right? But not new. It's Caleb. He got different hair. Y'all, y'all see him? Oh my God, is that you, Caleb? I barely recognize you. I knew that was him. Okay, just different hair. Okay, it's not that bad. So, do you think I should keep this way or change it back? No, keep it that way. I think it's cute. You, yeah, keep the new hairstyle. I like it. It looks sexy on you. That's what she said. <laughs> Consider it kept. 
okay how did the others react when they saw it i mean who really cares it was all they talked about for most of the 15 minutes or so before you got here really how do you talk about somebody's style for 15 minutes got a lot of sarcastic jokes from helen john <laughs> but i think they're just jealous because they know you like it <laughs> i'm done now it's time for the hot tub let's go to the hot tub now it's time for the hot tub what let's go to the hot tub sorry <laughs> this is so nice guys like i wish i was there where you are in the tub i love hot tubs and spa days i just find it all so fun and relaxing i need to go do that y'all time you also seem to have found the closest possible spot to taylor <laughs> she did you're just jealous you didn't think to do the same <laughs> Right, right. I like how it's freezing cold outside and so hot in here. So hot. Yeah, wait till you try a hot tub outside during a blizzard. Oh, wow. Okay, sir. <laughs> you really do that? I think that would be cool, though. <laughs> Another Canadian thing, I guess. Yes, it is. <laughs> you guys all seem like you're in really good spirits today. Oh, they are. They in good spirits, you are. I'm going to be straight with you, Taylor. It's because Bay isn't here. Oh my god really she is not that bad y'all the rest look around awkwardly but not disagreeing really she's not that i mean i don't know i'm gonna say bae isn't that bad guys like come on bae isn't that bad guys i know she can be snarky and rude sometimes but she's also really fun honest and assertive like come on now she's just a strong personality she was pretty fun on the other group dates see she wasn't too bad yeah that game on that mountain was a blast see yeah. Oh, and how funny was she on the beach date? Didn't she say something about Baywatch? Yes, she did. <laughs> she did. Oh, please don't remind me. Oh my God, hell. Like, get it together, sir. Okay. I think that comment is what distracted me into losing the race. <laughs> oh, whatever. Please. <laughs> Care for a rematch later then? Exactly. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> And somehow Bay is the center of attention again. She's not even on this date. Well, you brought her up, sir. Okay, you the one that brought her up. Nobody else brought her up. See, you brought it. Yeah, see, you brought up hell. Okay, I was right. You're right. Okay, new rule. We aren't going to talk about Bay for the rest of the day. Hey, that rhymed. We're going to talk about Bay for the rest of the day. Well, what do we want to talk about instead then, Taylor? Ooh, what do we want to talk about? What is something funny that's happened to you on the show? What do you find sexy in a partner? Or ask both. Ooh, let's ask both questions. What is something funny that's happened to you on this show? Okay, I have one. So a few days ago, Mary and I were picking up a snack okay no john <laughs> oh lord it must be embarrassing and mary goes up to the stand selling pecans and cashews and stuff oh i love cashews y'all mm. i want some now i'm going to kill you for this john <laughs> it must be good and the guy at the stall asks her if she needs any help and she says no i just wanted to look at your nuts <laughs> mortified oh my god that is hilarious you guys oh come on mary that's really cute and funny oh my god that is fun that that was a good laugh that was a good laugh i guess you're right <laughs> oh john since you like funny stories so much i have another one featuring you oh it better be good uh-oh this is backfiring isn't it yes it is <laughs> So yesterday, John and I went on a hike and ran into a nice husband and wife couple. Okay, sure. Oh, wait, she asked John what he does for a living, and John replied that I'm a pianist. Okay. But she heard something else, if you know what I mean. <gasps> oh, my. <laughs> she thought he said my pee. Okay, they get the idea, Caleb. Oh my! So the, he thought. Wait, well, thought he used that as his career, like in adult films or something. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious, guys. That is so. That's the be best part is when John said his dream is to perform in front of a huge audience. Oh my! <laughs> oh man. 
Oh my god. No, actually the funniest part was when he said you guys should come by the local cafe and watch me perform. Oh how funny. Y'all, I would die laughing. Okay, next question. What do you find sexy in a partner? That was a good one, y'all. Oh my gosh. I like a really affectionate person who makes time to kiss me. Okay, Mary. I see you. I see you. I like it when someone is really intensely into me in the moment. It's just us and we only want each other right now, right here. Sorry, I don't know why. (laughs) I like it when a girl has a little edge to her, keeps on my mind, my toes, and there's nothing like a bad girl in the bedroom. Y'all, stay in school. I like it when you can get real with someone and drop all the awkward pretense and really enjoy them for them. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I find you very sexy, Taylor. I really enjoy everything you do. Really, Jasmine? Like, I feel like I am not. She's so mysterious. Oh, that is so cheating, Jazz. Like, I haven't really got to know her because she's so, like, I don't know. Okay, so I have a question for you, Taylor. What do you find attractive in a partner? Hmm, let's see here. Charming like Caleb, affection like Mary, passion like John, seductive like Bay, danger and death like Hale, listening skills and mystery like Jasmine. I'm going to say affection like Mary. I like affection. We're just going to say that. We just going to say that. eh? We we just gonna say that. Hey, we just gonna say that. Hey, we just gonna say that. Hey, do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> Affection like Mary. Yay! At the soothing heat from the hot tub relaxes everyone. A natural silence comes over the group for a few minutes. Okay, so it's not awkward silence, just natural. Soon after it, it's time to get out and move on to the next part of the group day. Let's go. Hey, hey, let's go. Group day. Let's go. Hey let's go okay this group is led to another part of the spa with a sky a sky lit shallow swimming pool how freaking cool on the ground there is an envelope hell knows it and picks it up what's the envelope is telling us what we need to do in here or something what's this read it a bad feeling crawls over your skin and hell pulls a small photograph out of the envelope Wh- what is it oh what we said at the same time <laughs> what's wrong hell what's going on whoa what happened just a little souvenir of what taylor got up to last night y'all wait did they take pictures of me and bae <gasps> what do you mean y'all that was a camera the dude was he go he showed us the photographs to the rest of the group there was a camera y'all y'all you see bae standing very close to you in her lingerie inside her hotel room somebody took a picture of us y'all <gasps> dang that is messed up. Everyone starts firing questions at you and there's too much noise to respond to any one person. Jasmine speaks in an authoritative voice above the din. Y'all. Okay, we'll have questions for Taylor, but this isn't working. So here's my idea. We give Taylor a minute to explain what the picture means and then we each get a few minutes to talk to her in private. Okay, that's a good idea, Jasmine. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jasmine. Okay, because I don't know what's going on. I better just call uh, tell them what really happened. What? What really happened? We didn't do nothing. I didn't sleep with Bay, but I'm still sorry, you guys. Yeah, that's all I can say. I didn't sleep with her. Dang. I feel bad, though, because it's like they shouldn't have seen that, y'all. Somebody trying to sabotage me. I didn't sleep with Bay, but I'm still sorry, you guys. Okay, like... Oh my god, that doesn't really explain why you're in her hotel room and she's mostly naked cuddled up to you. Oh my god, hell, really? He's I think they're overly mad. I was just helping her with some bags and then she randomly changed into that. I know it looks bad, y'all, but come on man. It's a game. I'm not happy about this photo either, guys, but at least I wasn't as bad as it looks and she was honest with us. Yeah, I mean I didn't sleep with her. Okay, I'd like to talk to each of you in private since this group discussion isn't going anywhere productive. Dang, somebody trying to get me, man. You walk into one of the spa's massage therapy rooms to have a private talk with each contestant. Y'all, somebody trying to get me. Jasmine follows in behind you while the others collect themselves. This sucks. I'm gonna have to like, everybody's gonna be mad at me. Like, oh my God, like what we gonna do? What, 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 what we gonna do? Look, Taylor, I'm not happy about this photo, but I want to be here for you right now. 
okay thank you you aren't mad at me like the others like girl <laughs> you ain't mad girl yeah it sucks seeing the girl you're into being with someone else in a suggestive matter or way <laughs> but i also understand how situations can get a little crazy exactly i didn't tell her to put that on i've been in some that i regret too and i know you're under a lot of stress here I mean, it is a little stressful, you know, all these people that's so understanding of you, Jasmine. I still feel bad you had to see that on this date, though. Yeah, that sucks. Somebody sabotaging me. Yes, it sucks. Oh, we got a low affection score, y'all. Okay, but maybe it's good I get to see this now. What you mean? You're not really into me so far, but I can at least be a good friend to you in this process. Oh, I feel bad. We're not. Well, I, we haven't really gotten to know each other because she's so closed off. She's too mysterious. I'm still figuring things out. I appreciate your help. Yeah, I know how. Okay, I know you have everyone here to deal with right now. Okay. But at some point, I like to help you figure out who will want to sabotage you like this. Thank you, because we need to figure that out for Raziel. Anyways, I know you have to talk to the others, so I'll let you get to it. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Jasmine. Just let me give you a little tip, okay? What's that tip, girl? What's that tip? What's that tip, girl? What's that tip? Sure, thanks. Stop. Whoever you ask to come in here next will appreciate you for talking to them before the others. Okay, I got you. I got you. So choose carefully, okay? Okay, I got you. Um, let's do hell. He seemed like he was the maddest. Let's go ahead and do hell. He was the maddest. Let's go ahead and get him out the way. Cause I know he mad. He big man, y'all. He big, big, big man. He the one that found a picture. So let's go ahead and talk to him. What the hell? Oh, his his perfection for me is high. Okay. I don't know that there's anything I can say right to make this better. What? Okay, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry for what exactly? Oh my god, hell. What did you end up doing with her? Literally, all we did was kiss. Obviously, something happened. Oh my gosh. It's too big of a deal. Not much, really. Like, exactly. Like, y'all act like I just... You know what I'm saying? Look, I get that there are going to be times that you're intimate with people. Sorry, I got to do my man voice. <laughs> but our understanding was that we'd only have to deal with that on the overnight dates. I don't remember hearing nothing about overnight dates. So that's new to me, I guess. There's even people here who haven't had a date with you. Oh, that's true. I do feel bad. But I didn't do the pitch on purpose. Somebody put it there. They sabotaging me. I'm really sorry it happened this way. And I get what you mean. But at the same time, there are no rules. Exactly. It's a show. It's a game. This is hard for me to figure out. And sorry if you don't like every situation I end up in. Like for Rizio. I just wonder how you feel if the tables were turned and you found a picture of me with some mostly naked girl. I mean, I'll be a little upset. I ain't gonna lie. But I get it because it's a guy. I'd feel awful, hell. Like, I get it, you know? I understand where you're coming from. But you also need to stop and realize that I didn't sleep a bay. I do regret that this picture incident hurt you guys, though. Like... I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, it looked, wait, it took me completely by surprise when she came out half naked like that. It did. I didn't expect that. Yes, I went, went to her room, but I also chose not to take things to the next level like she wanted. Imagine if I slept with her, y'all. Oh, they'd be really upset. I guess that makes sense, but it still sucks. Yeah, I get it. Is there anything that I can do to help reaffirm our relationship? Like, do you want me to do something or to help you feel like you can put this in the past? What we got to do? What we got to do? I think that I need time apart right now to sort out my head so I don't end up saying things I regret. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I'd like to talk to you later on this evening and maybe we can get sit out by the stars. Okay, we can do that. Don't worry. I feel you. This seems to be where we have our best conversation. Okay deal got you okay mary you up what's up mary what's up mary i know you upset i know you upset ha sorry <laughs> hi mary are you doing okay i think you know i've been crazy about you from the start yeah girl i know i know girl it's hard to put your side thoughts about you ending up with someone else just to focus on us on a normal day <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Get out of there. 
sorry I was talking to storm but then to see a picture like that makes it a lot harder I know and I'm so sorry Mary like girl you know I never planned for this to happen girl okay I have no idea who took pictures and why it just left or it was just left on the floor like that well to find it I get that it's just it's just what girl i keep imagining us end up together we got a high affection i knew that for sure it's still or it's silly but i don't see my next date with you in my head what you mean i see whole scenes in my mind like the two of us having a picnic together oh and it's a sunny day and you have your arms around wrapped around me oh my god how cute you you are married in love you and you take my hand in yours and we both glance down at our wedding rings Yo, she trying to take it to the next level, honey. And then we look into each other's eyes with big sappy smiles on our face. Y'all, this is beautiful. And then we both say, I love you. Oh, y'all, she in deep. Wow, Mary, you really see all of that for us? Dang, Mary, she likes see it all. I really do, Taylor. Y'all, do you still see that even after the picture incident? Does she? Does she still see that? I do, but I need to know that you feel the same way too. Well, what can we do, y'all? What can we do? Sure. Okay, then I'll give her a kiss. There it is. Give her a kiss. There it is. Give her a kiss. Let me show you how I feel about you, Mary. Give her a kiss. What? Give her a kiss. What? Kiss. 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 <laughs> okay, that's pretty good proof that you like me a lot. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad that came through. Yes, it came through, honey. I was hoping you sneak off with me for a kiss today. Look at that. We didn't even have sneak off. See you soon, Taylor. All right, John, you what? Let go, John. Let let go. Hey, let go, John. Let let go. Come on. I know. I'm sorry. Let's get this over with. Let's go. How are you holding up, John? It's hard to see a picture like that when you're starting to have strong feelings for someone. Oh, oh, he got strong feelings too. I know I'm usually joking around or flirting with you, but I'm also pretty serious about all this. I'm sorry, Juan. I know that, Juan. Oh, uh, high affection. I guess you. I see you in the bay like that in the picture, and I wonder how serious you are about me. I really like you, Taylor, and you need to know this isn't a game for me. I know it's not. I'm sorry. And it certainly isn't some ploy to promote my music career because I know Bay is saying things like that. She did say it, you know, you know. I'm in this for you, Taylor. I'm sorry. I know that job, but it touches me to hear that. <sighs> and I've told you before, when I'm passionate about something, I put my whole heart into it. I'm sorry, I keep doing <laughs> Should change things though does it change things no i'm in way too deep it's going to take more than a stupid picture to stop me and there it is it does make me wish i had the idea first though what idea what he's talking about i tried or tried what first <laughs> waltzing out in my lingerie and trying to tempt you to bed oh my god <laughs> that was funny how is it you can make me laugh and feel like Thing, or feel like things will be okay even during this oh how can you because i'm the one you're meant to be with oh john i like john he cute take care taylor oh okay caleb you the last one come on boo come on boo will your justin bieber haircut huh well he used to have that haircut not anymore <laughs> i know hi caleb are you doing all right <gasps> this is a weird situation we're in taylor oh i don't know why i sounded like that it just really makes me wonder about us oh my gosh i know we haven't had much time to to know each other yet i know caleb i know i know dang dang but to see you with bay like that just reminds me how far behind we are I'm sorry, Caleb. Dang. I apologize. Oh, we got high affection, though. And I think it's my own fault. Why is it your fault, Caleb? How is it your fault? I haven't taken as many opportunities to show you that I'm interested in you. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. 
Bay is extremely obvious that she wants you as more than a friend. Yes, maybe I need to show you that a little more too. I mean, whatever you want to do, homie, because I see you as my more than a friend. <gasps> I want to get to know you more as a person and hopefully see what kind of chemistry we have. Okay, I feel you. I see you as more than a friend too, Caleb. We gonna say that, we gonna say that, you know, cause I don't know who I'm choosing yet. I like everybody and well, obviously Jasmine's out. I can't believe how mature you're being all about this or about all this, whatever. <laughs> you must really like me. I really do. I feel like I get a zap in my chest when you walk into the room. Oh, how can you, you a uh, zap in a chest, boo? What? Oh, you need to go to the doctor just to make sure that ain't nothing else. But anyway, I can't stop from smiling when you are around. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crazy. See you later. Bye, boo. Justin Peep. I'm going to start calling him Justin Peep. Okay. Exhausted from the talks at the spa, you return to your hotel room. Back to the telly. Back, back to the telly. I better dress warm for my talk with Hale under the stars. The stars. The, the, the stars. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, I'm so loud. My dog is just looking at me like, girl, if you don't shut up, <laughs> how are you doing now, Hale? This is beautiful. Look at the background. Frustrated, kind of hurt, but I'm glad we took this time so that I could cool down. Yeah, cool down, sir. It's nice and cold outside. You should be cool. I'm not the kind of person that does my re best response in the heat of the moment. Okay. That's really great thing to know about yourself, Hale. <gasps> oh, me. Yeah, I've come to learn that I just need that few minutes to kind of walk it off. I got you, boo. I got you. And to think it all out in my head before I say anything or say something, whatever. I mean, I won't lie and say it doesn't hurt like a punch to the gut seeing you with someone else or somebody else, whatever. You know what I meant? <laughs> but I think that only goes to show how into you I am and how much I really want this to work for us. I got you, boo. I got you. Not to say I'm happy about the bay thing. Right, 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 right. But I'm going to be okay. And I know not much really happened. Yeah, nothing happened. Just a kiss. Anyways, understand that you're going to be with other people in the show or on the show, whatever. <laughs> I'm messing it all up, y'all. I guess before our one-on-one, -on -one, it was really extra hard to face. I get it. I get it. I get it, hell. I do understand, hell. I can imagine being in your shoes, okay? I'd feel, uh, I'd be feeling the same way since we haven't had a whole lot of time together yet. And then I saw you with someone else. Like, okay, it would have been an issue. I get it. I get it. It actually means a lot to hear you say that. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. I think going forward, I just really want to focus on our time together. Let's do that on getting to know each other to see if this can work out. Yes, we owe it to each other to do that because in the end, it doesn't matter how many other people you have here, right? <laughs> if it can work between us, then it all that matters. I got you, Hale, I got you. I like the idea of focusing on us, Hale. <laughs> Hell is start staring into your eyes with intensity and desire. Oh, you sense that he's gonna kiss you. Oh, you kiss hell. Oh, you kiss hell. Oh, you kiss hell. Sorry. <laughs> After finishing up the talk with Hell, you throw on some comfy clothes and take a few minutes to walk around the hotel to clear your head. As you wander towards a staircase, you hear what sounds someone saying your name. Oh, the sounds, whatever, says your name. Sorry, blah, blah. <laughs> you approach the door to what you think is the conference room and stay quiet to listen in. Voice one, Taylor is under a lot of stress here, guys. We need to look into this. Why are they talking about me? Look into what? Was it the picture? Ashton, your concern needs to be for the success of the program. Really? Really now? We could get shut down if something bad happens, you guys. We need to be careful. What is going on? I'm not overlooking the welfare of the people in this. We need answers. 
I'm with Ashton. What's going on? Like, we need answers. We also need more coffee, Troy. Coffee run time. Chop, chop. Uh Uh-oh. We're next to the door. We gotta run. You try to get far enough away from the door to appear innocent. You are. Stuff going down is going down. You have just enough time to make it a few feet away. And pretend you are admiring one of the paintings on the wall. When? (laughs) Is he coming out? Did he see me? Okay, I don't think he... Okay, Troy walks out of the main lobby and out of sight. Okay, I don't think he, like, realized I was listening. So, I think we're good. I don't think he realized I was eavesdropping. Yes, I think we're good. I'm going to need to piece all this together because this is a lot, y'all. You uh, head to your room, your mind racing, trying to make sense of what you overheard. Make it make sense. What is going on, you guys? Fan mail means the world to us. So if you like the story, please tell it. Yes, you know, I love it. We also love to hear about how the story is going for you. Did you resolve things with your favorite contestants? Did you grow farther apart or even closer? Having trouble deciding? Okay, but we all know all this stuff. Okay, but anyway, you are y'all something is going on like who is trying to sabotage us do you think it's one of the contestants or somebody in the background sometimes i think it's tris do you think it is i don't know y'all i don't know but y'all let me know down below what y'all thinking what y'all thinking anyway guys thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, and I will catch y'all on another.